we've got a bunch of questions here about social media, but we want to try to keep it specific to our industry, so meetings and events specifically. So it's a way to tap into new audiences that might not know you. So it's so important because just by putting it on your own website or in your own email blast, it's not getting the exposure it deserves. Just a trend that I wanted to mention was Instagram stories. I think that's really like where we're heading right now. Like, I don't even scroll through my feed until I'm like, I look through all the stories first. That's my number one priority and I know so many people are the same way. So if there's a way to incorporate Instagram stories, if you are using Instagram as one of the platforms um, to advertise your event on, look into potentially including content for that. Um, and being strategic with the content too, because you have to take it in portrait mode and you know, it has to be a video. If it's just a still image, like don't even bother because no one, everyone's just gonna tap through it. You can also do a pre-feature on them on your website as well, interview them beforehand, talk to them why they're excited to speak at your event. You can pay them to advertise that blog post and then set up a retargeting campaign. So I came to your website to read that blog post specifically and then click to see how much the ticket was and oh, maybe I want to go to that and then set up that retargeting hook last one to two weeks after I read that post. I'm constantly reminded, hey, didn't bought this yet, you should do this. <laughs> it helps a lot. I don't know about you, but I thought there was a lot of great, valuable information that you guys provided, so 